I'm gonna get a bucket with some compost in it. What I'll do is I'll end up spending a couple hours. We will dump out one of them totes. I will shovel it all in here and we will literally make a whole bunch of this and put it into a bag. Okay. So that way I don't have to do this every time. Yeah. It makes, this year is all, this is all new for this year. So we're learning where we're not efficient and where we are efficient. And uh, you know, just trying to make the system better. Yeah. Did you build this thing yourself? No, I actually bought this. This is a grain cleaner for corn. Oh, okay. Corn and soybeans. So like you can run your corn through it and it'll take all the fines out. So the air can go through the corn and the grain bin better. So I bought it for a few hundred bucks. It was an old war out. You know, somebody wasn't going to use it for corn anymore. Yeah. So I bought it super cheap. It works great for screening compost. So, yeah, so it's a pretty simple system. Um, I turn, I got the water here. It's plumb to the pump. Um, excuse my mess here because it's kind of chaos running all these businesses out of a small shop. But we make it work. Um, I will, I was cleaning this out late last night. So I plug this in. There we go. So it's just an auger system, like I said. Um, a friend of mine built this and I'm actually just kind of testing it out and we are uh, finding out what works and doesn't work on it and just trying to make it more efficient. It is an auger in there that is turning this way and bringing the compost this way. Inside that auger, there's a it's stainless steel, it's all stainless, but that auger has got jets on it that shoots the water out and washes that compost. And the water actually comes through here, through the center of that flighting on that auger and through them jets and washes the compost. The, the outside tube on that uh, auger flighting is a steel mesh, a stainless steel mesh. And so what it does is we wash the compost and the liquid falls through that mesh and then into our tub. And then the spent compost comes out the back, the finished product goes into there. And then from there, I run it through a self-cleaning irrigation filter and into the tender trailer, the planter, sprayer, wherever it's going. So it's a real simple system. It's quiet. Get your hands a little dirty but it's fun. So I'll plug this in. I've got, this is all hooked up. So you can kind of hear it going there. This is temporary. We're gonna put a flipper on here because the it shoots water up and you get wet. So um, I had a hand shovel here. Well, I had one here. I don't know what happened to it. So you just dump the compost in it like this. I'm going to dump a little bit more in. I mean, you can push a lot of compost through this thing. And you can see there, this is the finished product. Like I said, it's mu like muddy creek water, you know, just muddy water. And like I said, we'll run that through another filter to filter it one last time before it goes to the uh, out to the field. And then you can kind of see out that end where the spent compost is coming out. And it's actually not supposed to be much water coming out. It's supposed to be just compost. But I, I fed it in there a little bit faster than what I should have. And if it starts doing this much, I will actually take this and throw it back in there and rewash it again. So our whole goal with this, like you see there's wood chips and wood pieces, we are trying to wash the microorganisms off of this. So yeah, this will get run back through again. I'll just scoop it up, throw it back in there and rewash it. Um, but I try to time it where I feed it in there really slow. So it slowly washes it and it's pretty much a dry product like, like it is right now. Feeding out really nice and slow. And uh, yeah, we're just washing the fungi and the bacteria off of that. And you get a little bit of sand particles, wood chips, feeds out the back. 
And so we will actually take this. This isn't wasted. We will go throw this on our uh, wood chip pile out there. We'll just let it keep biodegrading. And, uh, you know, we can reuse this stuff next year and add it to our Johnson Sue's and to our Worm Bay. And, uh, you know, we'll reuse it. It'll get used up. So, yeah, that's basically the process. Turning the compost into a liquid form. And, uh, you know, if you were to just put, like, a dry compost out, it would take... A dry compost, it'd take a couple thousand pounds per acre to get the equivalent of washing the compost and putting it into a liquid form in. So some research has been done with that. You know, if you just put a dry wood vermicompost, it would take a few thousand pounds per acre. You know, to get the same effect as putting it liquid and putting it on the planter in furrow. So biggest thing having a high quality compost to work with whether it be a vermicompost or a johnson sioux compost um there's hot thermal compost you can make um it's just learning the compost and the composting system and using the product to make it liquid pretty simple really it's it's really neat but it's really simple so